Hi, my name is Dave Welsh, and today we're going to visit Chocolate World in Hershey, Pennsylvania. So stay with us. Welcome to Hershey's Chocolate World in Hershey, Pennsylvania. There are nine chocolate worlds spread around the globe. You'll find one in Las Vegas, one in Chicago, one in Niagara Falls, one in New York City, two in Shanghai, one in Dubai, and one in Singapore. But the one in Hershey is the original. These sites specialize in Hershey's chocolate and Reese's peanut butter products. Prior to 1973, visitors toured the actual factory where the chocolate was made, but the increasing number of people made it impossible to continue in this way. So a whole new complex was built, featuring five different programs, the chocolate tour, the create your own candy bar attraction, the Hershey trolley ride, the chocolate tasting group, and the chocolate factory mystery. It's obvious to see from the video I shot that kids really enjoy the chocolate world. And getting to eat what you've just created is a fun thing. I think the chocolate kisses were coming out faster than the kids could devour them. take the 12 minute chocolate tour. Passengers board the moving cars to see how chocolate is made. My video only begins the ride. I suggest you take the full ride when you visit Hershey, Pennsylvania. Mr. Hershey built his factory here for one very important reason. Just about to tell you. Uh -huh. It's all about the milk. <laughs> well, that's true. Here at Hershey, it really is all about the milk. In fact, it's the milk that gives Hershey's chocolate its unique taste. And who better to tell you all about it than our official welcoming committee? As you see, it's all about the milk. containers in this chamber where it will be dried once again. Yes, that's right. 
This liquid mixture is now conveyed to dryers, such as the one you see on your left. The dryer removes excess moisture, which results in chocolate crumb. The machine up ahead adds cocoa butter into the mix, which transforms it into a smooth chocolate paste, ready for refining. Mmm, -hmm. what's a wonderful smell? That's right. After all that shaking, breaking, baking, and flaking, we're finally coming up with Hershey's milk chocolate. But there's still a ways to go before it's finished. On your left is a series of roll refining machines. The refining process grinds the chocolate until it reaches a uniform and smooth consistency. Next, as seen on your left, the chocolate is further refined by a unique process called conching. These heavy rollers refine the chocolate for up to 72 hours until it reaches a silky, liquid texture. The material that leaves the conching process is called chocolate paste. These machines supply production lines with over 1 million pounds of chocolate paste per day. Now, let's take the free bus ride around Hershey World. This should be fun. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. Good sports type to give yourself that. As original Hershey kiss me lights, they melted. Let's get this out of the way now. Rich writes all of my material. <laughs> Please do not attack the messenger. <laughs> On your left part of our downtown region. <laughs> Mr. Hershey finally said to Mr. Reese, as a quote, by the way, it will never sell. But I'll provide you with milk and sugar and chocolate at cost you start making your own candy. And in the basement of a Reba Avenue house, which you can see, he started by making what he called the penny cup, for obvious reasons. And then he moved to West Chocolate Avenue. There's an Italian restaurant there called Finici's. He then moved a block west of there on Caracas Avenue across from the Wapokia Bank. And in 1957, he moved out to the West End of Hershey where the factory resides today. Now, as we head back into Chocolate World, we have one more true story. In pink, we sleeve this bar, and the sleeve reads its aim, and these letters stick through. For you Willy Wonka fans, that is not a river of chocolate. There's no Oompa Loompas, so I won't show them to you. And also, you could tour this entire factory on foot, maybe some of you did, until 1972. That was closed to the public since 1973 to see how chocolate is made. You have to take the tour ride in Chocolate World. By the way, this part of the factory you see here, headed on your left, is the part that, yeah, there we go. It was designed, this is what they used to design the outside of Chocolate World. See the stacks and everything else? There's that chocolate goose right out there. See it out there? The bodies are milk chocolate, the heads are dark chocolate, the bellies are white chocolate.